Hello everyone, in this video let's talk about medicine. And the first thing I want to say tell you is that medicine is a scam. Because medicine is not one subject, the only there's no such thing called as medicine, it's just an amalgamation of path, pharma and guidelines, treatment guidelines. You have to understand that the only way you can complete medicine is to actively restrict it. Medicine is infinite, human stupidity is infinite, and one example of that human stupidity would be trying to complete medicine. Okay. If your path pharma is strong, you can actually directly skip to and directly go to diagnosis and treatment guidelines. You don't need to watch 200 hours of videos. You can just focus on those videos or those part of videos which are focusing on treatment and guidelines. The only way to complete infinite medicine is an active restriction of topics that you're going to do. How do you do this active restriction of topics? Simply pass five to seven year papers of your university because the first focus is what? Cracking your final prof exam, mark them in your marrow notes or whichever notes that you're using or prepladder notes or DBMC or Dr. Tamim's notes and stick to those notes. Even in those topics, you have already done Path Pharma. This is the reason I kept on saying you have already done Path Pharma in third year, revised using first day. You can directly skip to medical diagnosis, uh, diagnosis and treatment guidelines. Another very controversial thing I would say, this is something which I did a lot of people in AIMS do, you don't need to read Harrison you can directly go to this book called Current Medical Diagnosis and Treatment. This is core medicine. This does not have pathophysiology. This does, has basic pathophysiology. This does not have, you know, pharma and everything. It tells you the guidelines and treatment. All right. So what should you do? Read Path Pharma first and uh, read it very fast. You've already done it in first aid and directly skip to diagnosis and treatment. Write down those answers of the past five, seven years papers and you're done with your university exams. As far as neat PG preparation is concerned, because you'll be like, on the weekend, solve the previous year question. You don't need to do modules right now. Solve the previous year questions. Again, mark it down in your own notes, which you have already made. So simultaneously, both the prof preparation and need PG preparation. And realize that most of the need PG questions actually are coming from prof topics only. All right. A lot of people, what they used to do is, since they've already done Path Pharma in first aid, they used to make a small notebook on add the treatment guidelines and use first aid for medicine also. All right. I'll take an example. For example, asthma is there. Most questions on asthma, even in knee PG on theory, will be on pathophysiology of asthma. They will be about how does asthma act, interleukin 13, high, immediate type hypersensitivity, so on and so forth. What is extra being told to you in medicine? It is only the diagnosis, diagnostic criteria. It is only the treatment guidelines, the, the stepwise treatment of asthma that we talk about, the step one, two, three, four that we talk about, right? And most universities sometimes will ask about acute severe asthma. So your notes should just contain in medicine, they should not contain revision of path pharma. That's already done in first aid. It should just contain these two things. So asthma becomes half a pager. It doesn't stay 20 or 30 pager. The only way to complete medicine is active restriction of topics. Stick to the university topics and in those university topics on evening, on the weekends, do previous year question. You can do it from Reflex, you can do it from uh, uh, Marrow, you can do it from whichever platform you are using and you will have a proper 200, 300 pages notes of core medicine. So what are the topics which are core medicine? They are your emergencies, they are, you know, treatment guidelines of stroke, coronary artery disease, MI, uh, you know, things like that, infections, and the topics which are there in mini, uh, mini Harrison, which is your Harrison manual, they are the essential topics which you should consider. All right. So what should be the plan? Five to seven years university topics, do directly from CMDT, make your notes or in the notes, uh, you know, tick them out. Which videos do you need to need? You don't need to watch all 200 videos, videos of only core medicine. So basically ECG conceptual videos, which videos should you watch? You should watch of ECG, acid base, emergencies, which require some concepts. Rather, most of the videos will be path pharma. You can skip them. All right. Do previous year question. And like I said, from the university topics and previous year question, make concise notes. You can find these concise notes in Reflex. Reflex has all medicine concise notes. You want to buy them independently, you can buy them independently. Or if you don't want to do anything, that's perfectly fine. You can use rapid revision notes there, which are there in Maro. That is also another option. All right. So this is how you're going to do medicine. A very concise way I've told you, you have to actively restrict medicine. That's it from my side today. Thank you and have a nice day.